I think the most important thing about CES is that it is a living crystal ball that actually works. Look inside and you can see the future in ever more vivid color. This is LG's waterfall. It might look like a marvel of nature, but it's actually 268 curved OLED displays. Past the grand entrance, you'll find closets that take care of your clothes, refrigerators that order your food. Alexa, I need eggs, milk. A robot that brews beer. What's your favorite? Uh, I like IPA. CES guru Shelly Palmer says only a fraction of these will catch on. I'm not sure that we're going to go live in George and Judy Jetson's house anytime soon. But if there's one thing that always sells, it's giant TVs, now in 8K. This TV could be the biggest thing in your living room until it's not. LG says this will be the year that its roll-up OLED television set will come to market. Flexible displays are all the rage. I can use it for uh, doing spreadsheets and uh, it's very productive. And when I need to go somewhere, I just fold it, put it in my pocket. With screens that fold, who needs a printer? Unless it's this printer. Procter & Gamble is using an inkjet to spray tiny bits of makeup just where it's needed. Age spots, dark spots, blemishes, any discoloration on your skin. Like a lot of these products, it's not out yet, but maybe in a year. Good boy, good boy. Sony is teaching its digital dog, Ibo, new tricks like remembering the faces of you and everyone in your family. And it can actually develop relationships with members of the family because it's cloud connected to an artificial intelligence platform. Just about everything's connected these days, even this $10,000 massage chair. It's tickling my feet. Soon they'll all talk to each other over 5G. It's not quite here. When it does show up, it's going to change pretty much the world we live in. There's a whole area for 5G in the giant booth called Samsung City. You practically need a booth this big to show off Samsung's biggest TV. At 219 inches, they just call it the wall. Sure, you can stream movies in 8K, but 5 5G could be a bigger deal in your car. Safety sensors already use computer vision, but soon cars will talk to each other. In 5G, the latency there is so low that it actually is faster than you could react as a human being. So now we're talking about things that really do save lives and change worlds.